Hello there, crafters. Today, we are going to make two crafts that celebrate how our Lord does not change. Everything else in our life can be crazy and tumultuous, but Jesus never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So we're going to make a couple of crafts that celebrate that. The first one is a kaleidoscope plate. So we're going to make a two-sided plate, and on one side, we're going to kind of represent some wild, crazy change, and on the other side, we're going to recall how Jesus does not change. So we'll start with the crazy changing side here. So here's my plate and we're going to put a whole bunch of wild colors and items in here. And we'll kind of start off with just some crazy swirls. Um, you can also, you can make this really creative and fun. We're kind of thinking about picturing a kaleidoscope and how they have, you know, all those different little colors and bits and pieces and things. So if you want, if you're feeling really adventurous, um, you can even throw on some uh, glitter here if you want to really get sparkly and jazzy up. And maybe I'll put a fun border on the outside here and I'm going to put a little caption at the bottom and that's going to celebrate how let's see we'll say the world can have some crazy changes, dot, 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 and throw on a little more. You can also add some stickers. You can add, I'm going to put on some crayons to sort of, woo, woo, woo. So this is the kaleidoscope, the part that represents how wild and crazy change can be. Now, both of our crafts kind of have this similar element and you can adapt it you can make it you can make it more seasonal and you can describe seasonal changes or you can have personal change maybe you have some pictures of kids when they were younger versus kids when they were older you can make it however you would like it to be um and the highlighted verse is going to be hebrews 13 8 which we're going to write on the other side, which says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Um, now you can also, of course, use that highlighted verse. We're also going to be talking a little bit about Hebrews chapter 5 and how Jesus is our great high priest. So you can use both and either of those. And talking about the high priest, if you'd like to capitalize on that element, you could use that as well. So over here, we're going to, I'm going to trace this cross. I mean, I could actually use this cross. But I'm going to trace it here and cut it out. And in fact, I'm going to cut out two crosses because I'm going to use one for the next craft as well. So we're just working smarter, not harder here. And now I've got my cross because on the other side, on the flip side of this plate, we're going to put the cross. So we have this representation of the crazy wildness and I'm going to tape or glue my caption right there. The world can have some crazy kaleidoscope like changes. Da -da -da. But now we're going to flip it over here and over here, we're going to glue or tape my cross, and remember that Jesus never changes. So right here, I've got my cross, and I'm going to write the encouraging message that Jesus never changes. And now I can reference Hebrews 
13.8. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So there is craft number one. Now, you're welcome to put a popsicle stick on this and make it something you can hold up, or you can put a string or a hanger on here and have it something you can hang up um, however you would like it. But we have our double-sided crazy changes versus the cross that always stays the same. Now our next craft, like I said, is actually pretty similar as far as the theme goes because we are again going to talk about change and how he does not change. This time it's going to be more of a collage. So we're going to have a piece of paper. Now you can do this a similar way and make it sort of like a card where you flip it over and then have it open up to be the change list cross or you can simply have the cross in the center which is what I'm going to do this time. So I'm going to put the cross, I'm going to glue that cross in the middle and it's going to be surrounded by representations of things that change. Um, so I'm going to kind of go backwards here. I'm going to start off and say, we'll say here, Jesus is the rock he never changes. And I might also put great high priest. Now I did also contemplate putting an actual rock rock, physical rock here, which you could do as well. Or you could use an, a rock as another craft and just decorate the rocks. Um, the only reason I didn't is because I, because I thought even with cardstock or thicker paper, it would be hard to keep the rock balanced and glued on attached, but that's an option or an option to do an extra craft. Um, so here we're going to have these representations of changes. Now I'm going to use some pipe cleaners here because pipe cleaners can of course change their shape and they can be all sorts of fun shapes. So we're going to have a couple of pipe cleaners just here again as this representation of wild and crazy things that change. I'm going to make one of my pipe cleaners kind of a swirly curl Q curly Q. That's always fun. Boing. Um, almost. There we go. Choo. And um, I've also got some clothes pins. Now the clothes pins we can do a couple of fun things with. I have clothes pins that are in different um, different shapes and sizes here as a, you know, again, sort of a thing that can change. Also on the clothespin, if you have room, you can write things that do or don't change. So you could write something like people, or you could write something like weather, teeny tiny writing there. Um, and then maybe over here on this side, you can write something that does not change, which is God. But again, we have, these are my representations of things that change. I could also, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut out a little flower. Again, that reminds me of the seasons. Hey, this could almost be a flower or a sun. Both of those things. Well, sun doesn't exactly change, but it goes up and down. But you get the idea. So, so this is my representation of how a lot in life can change. So I'm going to write my caption here. Um, even when life changes, God is always with you. So we'll have, again, we'll reference Hebrews 13.8, um, Deuteronomy 3 is another good one, Deuteronomy 3, you know, root. so again, this can be, this is sort of a um, jumping off point where you can alter it and adapt it in a variety of ways because you might wish to make this something that you hang up. Or, oh, I forgot to actually glue that on. Or you might have it be something you can place on a stick, or maybe you can place it on a magnet and also display it that way. Um, 
or you can just have it as sort of a fun little centerpiece or turn it into a card with double sides like the plate. Lots of options there, but we have our collage of change that reminds us that Jesus is not like the pipe cleaner that can flex in and out. He's not like these different sized clothespins. He is always the same and never ever changes. And then we have our kaleidoscope plate that also reminds us that when the world is crazy and changing, Jesus never, ever, ever changes. So, a couple of crafts that hopefully will help us to go through that Hebrews passage and to celebrate the blessed reminder and assurance that Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he will never, ever change, leave you, or forsake you. Now, I have a little one that needs changed himself, so I'm heading out. But hopefully, I will see you next week for more crafts, lessons, and other ministry ideas that will be a blessing to you and your ministry wherever and with whomever that might be. Go make some crafts, make some disciples, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time.